Scientists just stored 36 petabytes of data onto this, a single DNA storage device similar to a cassette tape. That's enough storage to hold up to 3 billion songs, or almost all of Taylor Swift's entire deluxe discography. Every 24 hours, the human race generates 400 million terabytes of digital data, and traditional storage systems are crumbling under the load. The idea of using DNA for data storage has fascinated scientists since it was first proposed by Richard Feynman in 1959, but making a practical system has long proved difficult. So a team of scientists at Southern University of Science and Technology engineered a surprisingly retro solution. The team reads the zeros and ones of a digital file and creates synthetic strands of DNA using the four DNA bases, C, T, G, and A, giving each base the ability to encode two bits of digital information. Then on a long flexible plastic film, these strands are printed as tiny spots, separated by hydrophobic partitions to stop the liquid from spreading sideways and each with a small barcode to record what data is stored there. The team then repeats this process 550,000 times over the course of a one kilometer long piece of tape, enough storage space to store 12 trillion photographs or thousands of photos for every human being who has ever lived. To retrieve that data, the tape is run through a custom cassette drive with an optical scanner searching for the correct barcode. When the correct partition is found, it's then immersed into a tiny reaction chamber filled with a liquid where a mild alkaline solution causes one half of the DNA sequence to separate into the liquid so it could be read by a DNA sequencer and then redigitized into information. For the strand that remains on the tape, enzyme rebuild it to recover the full double-stranded sequence needed for stable long-term storage, before then being capped by a protective material. In experiments, the team repeatedly recovered the same file up to 10 times from a single site without losing any data, and by running the coated tapes through accelerated aging tests for weeks at a time, the team estimated that the DNA could last for more than three centuries at room temperature, which is about 10 times better than existing long-term magnetic tape solutions, which only last for 20 to 30 years. They also anticipate that in cooler storage environments, the DNA might be able to remain readable for tens of thousands of years, whilst requiring no power to preserve that information. This approach is still slow and expensive compared to traditional storage approaches, but in the future, as the cost of biotechnology drops, it may make it the preferred option, potentially allowing grandma's chocolate brownie recipe to outlast civilization. And with those one kilometer long tapes, never has the phrase be kind, please rewind been more apt. If you like science and mixtapes with crisper audio quality, follow for more.